just getting ready to leave. Miss Tina, can you help me take my Protonatron mask on? Uh, sure, just one second. Miss Tina, I can't find my Protonatron comic book. Oh no, where could it be? Aren't your Protonatron comics all digital copies? Oh, right. Got it! In case you couldn't tell, today is Protonicon! The world's biggest convention for fans of all things Protonatron! <sighs> Protonatron this, Protonatron that. I cannot wait for all of this Protonatron fever to subside. Surely you can agree, right, Miss Tina? Sorry, Giz. They're releasing a new exclusive figure this year, and I need it for my collection. Uh, not you, too. Yep. We're all pretty excited. But none of you are as excited as me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I'm going to pitch Protonatron on a new feature-length film in which it trains a new generation of hero called Protonagear. Good luck, Gears. <sighs> How am I supposed to get excited about waiting in lines all day to speak with a movie star I am not even a fan of? Why don't you ask him to be a guest on your podcast? I'm sure that would help boost your listener base. I had not thought of that. To Protonicon we go! Yes! Oh, wow. awesome. Looks like we're all ready to go. Do you want to come to Protonicon with us? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Cool, let's go! Hold on one second. It is Professor Quantum. Hi, Hi Professor. Professor. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I have a very special job for you, and I need it done today. Today? Professor Quantum, we actually have plans this weekend. We were just about to leave. I figured you might. I'm sorry to disrupt your weekend, but I really need this done today, and I really need the five of you to do it. Oh, man. man! What's the job, Professor? A good friend of mine is in town and needs a place to stay tonight. I need all of you to turn the lab into a hotel for him. The more stars, the better. Really? Hotel? Professor Quantum, does Quantum Labs not have an entire hospitality division for this very purpose? Gizmo. I thought you'd enjoy trying your hand at the hotel business. Normally I would, but my podcast is struggling. I'm sorry, bots. I really do appreciate you taking the time to do this. I know you're going to do great. I'll try to make it up to you soon. I'm sorry, guys. I guess we can't go to Protonicon this year. But I wanted to get my digital comic digitally signed. I know it's disappointing, Widget. But Professor Quantum asked us to stay and do this. We need to listen and follow his instructions. Besides, making a hotel could be... fun? Sorry about the Protonicon plans. Do you want to help us make a hotel instead? Yeah. Sure. yeah! Thanks. Let's go! Ready, set, go! This wallpaper paint was a great idea. Wallpaper paint by Gears. Where's Widget? Planning the decorations with Miss Tina. What? She gets to help plan? Why isn't she helping us paint? She does not have arms. What up, Robotics Division? Hello, Ron. Hello, Don. We thought you guys were going to Protonicon. Yeah, so did we. Instead, we got stuck making a hotel for Professor Quantum's important friend. Yeah, he asked us to help too, but we told him we were sick. That is unfortunate. It appears as though you were heading to Protonicon as well. We are. While sick? I do not think that is a good idea. They're not really sick, Gizmo. They just said that so they could go to Protonicon. Feel free to do the same and join us. Otherwise, have fun spending the day hopping bells. <laughs> Did you hear that, Gizmo? We can just tell Professor Quantum we're sick and then go to Protonicon. But that would be dishonest, not to mention disobedience. Rig, put that down. We're calling in sick. I'm not sick. Do you want to go to Protonicon or not? Yes. Then it's time to start sneezing, buddy. I am not too sure about this, Gears. It'll be fine. Let's go find Widget. 
Oh, look, there they are. Miss Tina! I, I think it might be time for a Bible story. Do you have any good ones on, say, obedience? Uh, sure, I think we have a few minutes. Let's go! Ready, set, go! A long, long time ago, there was a man named Noah. Noah lived in a time where just about everybody else in the world was evil. Everything they did and everything they even thought of doing was wrong. But not Noah. Noah was a good man. He was friends with God and talked with him often. One day, God told Noah to build an ark. What's an ark? An ark is a portion of the circumference of a circle or other curve. Not that kind of ark. The ark God told Noah to build was a giant boat, bigger than anybody had ever seen. And God didn't just tell Noah to build the boat. He gave him detailed instructions on how to do it. 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high, to be exact. What's a cubit? A cubit is a measurement of distance, roughly equal to one and a half feet. I have two feet. Me too. Don't rub it in. Anyway, what was the boat for? Thanks, Widget. God told Noah there was going to be a giant flood all over the entire world. But since Noah obeyed God and followed his instructions, he and his family would be safe on the boat. Why did Noah's family need such a big boat? It wasn't just for them, Gears. God told Noah that he and his family were to take every kind of animal on Earth with them. Two of each. A mommy animal and a daddy animal, so there could be baby animals after the flood. That's pretty strange. It was very strange. And it was even more strange to everyone else who heard what Noah was doing. Since they didn't listen to God, they didn't believe Noah and ignored his warnings. That's not gonna end well. After many years of hard work, Noah finally completed the ark. It wouldn't be long until the giant flood arrived. How did Noah find all the animals? He didn't have to. They all came on their own right when they were supposed to. How did the animals know to do that? Had Noah shared some sort of event on social media? They didn't have social media gears. God sent all the animals to Noah when it was time. It was another one of his many miracles. Wow! How many animals showed up? Thousands. And once they were all on board, the flood came. It rained nonstop for 40 days and 40 nights. There was so much water on the earth that even the world's tallest mountains were underwater. But despite it all, God protected Noah and his family and used them to reestablish his people on the earth. All because Noah obeyed God and followed his instructions. Great job, Miss Tina. Yeah. Maybe I should have you pitch my movie to Protonatron. Come on, guys, let's go! Wait, what? Gears, did you not understand the point of the story? What? When God tells you to build a giant boat, you do it. <sighs> Widget, can you please pull up Deuteronomy 5.33? The Bible says, Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. But I don't own any real estate. Yet. The point is, God wants us to be obedient. He wants us to obey him. He wants us to obey our parents and the people that love us and take care of us. Like Miss Tina and Professor Quantum? So what? If Professor Quantum asks us to build a giant boat, we should do it? Or a hotel? Okay, but guys, whole day span's been planned, but now Professor says do something different, man, I'm not a fan. Maybe he knows things we don't understand. Yeah, he saw my plan and he took it from my hand. Remember Noah making the ark with no rainfall? God knew that Noah was busy, but God came to call him out of his comfort zone. To be a great leader, to lead God's people, he needed to dig deeper. Obedience. Sometimes we need to just trust. Obedience. Teachers, they're raising you up to become a great leader. Obedience. Sometimes we need to just trust. Obedience. God knows what's best for us. Obey, obey, I want to go God's way. Obey, obey, I want to go God's way. I don't always like what authorities say, but I do it anyway, because it's right to obey. That's right, it's important to listen to the people.
to me. God wants us to listen, cause he knows what's best for us to do. God loves us forever, and he wants us to obey his truth. Obey, obey, I want to go God's way. Obey, obey, I want to go God's way. Everything looks so good, you guys! Professor Quantum is going to love it! I'm sorry we couldn't go to Protonicon this year. I know you were all looking forward to meeting Protonatron. That's okay, Miss Tina. It was more important to follow Professor Quantum's instructions. Besides, we can always go next year. I just hope he doesn't make my movie idea before I get a chance to pitch it to him. Wow. This looks fantastic. Great job, everyone. I knew I could count on you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Once again, I'm really sorry to have disrupted your plans for today. I hope I can make it up to you soon. Where is your guest? Oh, of course. Tina, bots, I'd like you to meet my good friend, Protonatron. Greetings, Quantum Bots. I've heard a lot about you. You've heard of us? Protonatron is an old friend of mine. We talk all the time. Professor Quantum was on the team that helped protect me during my big virus scare. He saved my life. Without him, there would not have been a Protonatron 12 Ion's return. That's our favorite one! Protonatron is in town for a large fan convention. And wouldn't you know it, all the hotel rooms in the city are completely full. <gasps> so he's staying here? With us? I hope that's okay. I know you guys have given up a lot today. Are you kidding? This is way better than what we had planned. I'm gonna go get my costume. Oh, can you digitally sign my digital comic? And would you be willing to be a guest on my soon to be wildly popular podcast? Let's do it, all of it. And I have free convention exclusive action figures for all of you. Yes, oh, yeah. all right. Ready, set, go. You want to come climb this tree? Tree? Yeah, it's really cool up here. You should check it out. But climbing trees is against the rules. Come on, man. Who cares about rules? Climbing trees is cool, and so is everyone who does it. Cool? I didn't know we were cool. Quiet. Come on, try it out. Be cool. Should I? Okay, here I come. Oh no! We're coming down! It's fine! We're fine! Uh, uh, somebody help! Someone is in trouble! Super Gizmo Go! When I take flight, I give off a glow! My cake waves when the trouble gets considerable! When I'm in the air, you can't miss me like a dirigible! I'm brave! God's courage is a miracle! Now I see the three-paired bots! I got the visual! Land and pose! Sorry, Super Gizmo. Oh, I am just glad I was here. And that is why it is important to always obey the rules. Please. Ready, set, go! Welcome to Riggs Workout Room. I'm Rig. Oh man, I am so ready to get pumped up. Sayonara, spaghetti arms. What muscle are we working out today, Rig? One of my favorites. Biceps? No, the obedience muscle. Wait, what? Obedience, doing what you're told, following instructions. Okay, then could you please instruct me on how to get super buff? What was the last thing Miss Tina asked you to do? Um, pick up my toys. Did you do it? Not yet, but that doesn't mean I'm disobeying. I'm gonna do it just later. No! Obedience means doing what you're told right away. Gizmo, what was the last thing Miss Tina asked you to do? She told me to lift this weight. But I wanted to... Great job! 
All right, all right. I'm picking up my toys now. Are you happy? Good grief. No. Obedience means doing what you're told quickly and cheerfully. Great job. Hey, Gears, could you please take out the kitchen trash? It's a bit smelly. Sure, Miss Tina. I would be happy to. Thanks, Gears. <laughs> Great job, Gears. Do you feel pumped up? Yes. Awesome. Remember to work your obedience muscles out every day. Break out. Ready, set, go! Hello and welcome to Widget's Story Hour. Tonight, we're going to delve into the incredible fantasy world of G.E. Wellington's The Woodwind Chronicles. The 27th book in the series, Rise of the Netheru, was just released today. And I cannot wait to see what G.E. has in store for us. In order to fully understand and appreciate the latest installment of this incredible series, we will first enjoy a complete reread of the first 26 books. Let's begin, shall we? All right, Widget, time for bed. But, Miss Tina, I just got the new Woodwind Chronicles book. I've been waiting to read it ever since the last book came out three weeks ago. Nice try. That's the first book. Well, yeah. I'm starting a marathon. I'm sorry, Widget. You're going to have to wait one more day. It's bedtime. But it's Friday night. Yes, and you have a big soccer game bright and early tomorrow morning. You need your rest. But, Miss Tina... Lights out in five minutes, Widget. I mean it. It's time for me to get in my bed, but no fair. Then I still want to read my new book I have here. Maybe there's a way of combining these two things. Obeying while I'm reading and resting my tired wings. I mean, I'm practicing obedience, right? I'm just saying. Like Miss Tina asked me to stay, and I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not so maybe this will be just fine. Yeah. Maybe this will be just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Just fine. What happened? I think the Woodwind Chronicles happened, didn't they? I'm sorry, Miss Tina. I shouldn't have stayed up all night. I thought I could charge my batteries and read at the same time. I guess I need to power down completely in order to fully recharge. And maybe that's why I told you to go to sleep when I did. You knew? Why didn't you tell me? I shouldn't have to explain, Widget. Sometimes grown-ups just know best and you just need to obey and do what you're told. Most times, it's meant to help you. Like helping me be awake for my game? Now you've got it. What are Woodwind Chronicles? Ready, set, go! Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Talk with Gears. I'm Gears, and today we're going to be reviewing the all-new consumer-grade hover drone from Quantum Labs. Let's dig in. All right, it looks like we've got some assembly required, but that shouldn't be a problem. Here are the instructions. Won't be needing those. Um, Gears? What's up, Gizmo? I could not help but notice you just threw out the instructions for the hover drone. Yeah, that's right. But those instructions explain how you were supposed to assemble the hover drone. You must follow the instructions. Sure, but I basically already know how it's done. I've assembled plenty of stuff before. But Gears, there may be something in the instructions you do not know how to do. I don't need instructions to build things well. My room is like Invention Central. Can't you tell? I'm handy. And while you might need aid, put the tech in my hand, and it's gonna get made by Gears. Trust me, Giz. I can figure it out all by myself. Later. And done. All right, 
So it looks like the fine folks at Quantum Labs have included lots of spare parts for use in future inventions. Very cool of them. Now let's give this baby a spin. Ready for takeoff. Well, there you have it, folks. An extremely defective product from Quantum Labs. Odd. First time that's ever happened. Gears, are you serious? You did not follow the instructions. It's not like I did anything wrong on purpose. I probably just missed a step. It does not matter. You must always follow 100% of the instructions you were given, not just the steps you like to do. I guess you're right, Gizmo. Man, I wish there was an instruction booklet for life. There is. Hey, cool! A Bible! Ready, set, go! Well, looks like everything worked out after all, huh, Gizmo? Indeed. I sure am glad we were obedient today. If we had not made the hotel like Professor Quantum asked, Protonatron would not have been able to stay with us. That's true. It's important to obey the people who love us and take care of us. We need to obey our parents and, most importantly, God. Sometimes we need to just trust. God knows what's best for us. It may not always seem fun, but it is meant to help us learn and grow. They want what's best for us. I want what is best for me too. Me too. So now it's your turn to go and be obedient. We'll see you next time. Bye. Ready, set, go. It's the new Superbook Bible app. It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Here's Who's creative, widget, smart and investigative, Miss Tina. Tina. always encouraging friends. You know adventure was never gonna end. Rig. Very nice, very big. Gears don't fear the inventors here. Learn a lot that we would not know while we help each other grow.